Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Palace Playland in uh, Old Orchard Beach, Maine. And we're checking out the new ride today, but we're gonna do a few others while I wait for everyone else to go do stuff. So we're gonna start off uh, probably with the Superstar. It's a spinning ride, it's very fun, so let's go. So it's interesting about this ride, there was actually an accident on it, but the kid was like being stupid. So they actually added seatbelts um, along with the other restraint. So, I mean, that's good. I feel more secure. It always used to be kind of weird because it was just like a little like ratchet thing that like kept you in. So I'm glad to see that they are taking safety precautions. So yeah, let's go for a ride. Okay, we just did three rides, the tilt World, the Drop Tower, and the Superstar. They're all pretty fun, they're basic rides that you can find at a lot of other places. But now we're going to do the new ride, Hyper Jump, I think. Yeah, Hyper Jump. It looks like a very fun ride. It looks like a weird cycle, but, you know, I'm excited. Um, I think there's other clones of it some places, but I haven't been on one like that before, so let's go. So we're on the new Hyper Jump, which is weird, you only can go two a row into those three, that one can't go. Uh, Power Surge is in a new location now. It's over near the Orient Express. I think they're taking that out. Um, but yeah, we're about to go. I'm gonna film a POV, so yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so the um, the hyper jump, that is the most pointless, dumb ride I think I've ever been on. There's no airtime, barely any cars or G's. It's over five minutes long, and then you go up and you hang sideways. I I'm gonna have the POV, and then you just kind of go up and down over and over. Again, no airtime. It's I don't know. It's it's not my kind of ride. It's it's I've been on rides like I can't be like parked that are similar to it, 
but yeah it probably looks cool at night but I, I didn't really enjoy it it's kind of disappointing because i was actually really excited for that but we're gonna go do the flying swings now So we just got off the SVF visa and he started spinning us before like they even like locked the restraint. So we sat down and he says, everyone okay? And I'm like, yeah. And then he started, he spun us and we kept spinning and then we dispatched. So that was weird. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna go on the adrenaline now. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Adrenaline's really fun. It's a very short ride though. Um, there are some people freaking out next to me. It's pretty funny. The guy was stapling. He put like all of his weight into it. He told me to suck the stomach in and he just both fists like right into it. Knocked the air out of me. Uh, but I still got air time because I somehow loosened up. Uh, so that was weird. So then we did the Matterhorn. It's very slow and they wait for they wait for the whole ride to be loaded on. So it kind of takes forever. Then the bumper cars are awesome because there's some good songs on it. So interesting, there's four roads on one side, there's five on the other side. It's a good ride, but sit on that side, I guess, because there's uh, more roads. That's so weird. Guys, not to alarm you, we're in a dragon and we're gonna spin. It's called Dizzy Dragons and it's a teacup thing and it's really easy to spin, so yeah, let's go. Okay, yeah, we're spinning pretty fast. Oh, okay, here we go. I just see blurs. Oh, I'm getting blasted with positive G's. This could be the most intense run to bark. Ooh. <laughs> I'm spinning. Okay, I'm gonna spin more now. Oh, I've never spun this fast before. <laughs> oh, it's just positive G's. I can see the world going by. I'm gonna die. Oh, thank goodness it's over. And they put the lock on it. I don't know how much of that I could do. Okay, time for adrenaline. Okay, so we just finished our last round of Sea Viper. We also did Orient Express. Orient Express sucks. <laughs> We're all you want the worst coaster I've ever been on. It's a kid's coaster, and that helix is so painful. We rode near the back. Um, my um, friend rode in the back, and I rode in second to back. Um, I mean, I feel bad. These kids' coasters are supposed to be like 
a nice easy like the wipeout behind me that's a lot better but like this that true kids coaster it's just so painfully rough and i feel like all the kids coming off it are just like crying and not happy like they deserve better um but sea viper in the front is much better than the back uh it's much smoother right in the front i know you want the back for the air time there's just no air time on it so i had my ride forces up on here and there's no air time just like three pause three uh, g's but 3.5 so yeah it's a lot better fun i got a good pov of it i'll be posting all of those i put them in the vlog too um but yeah that will be ending our day at palace playland it was a really fun day oh uh, afternoon but the day is not over yet i'm gonna have a separate vlog maybe of us going to fun town i might not do it but i'll try to um it might be like too short and might be too crazy but i'll try to um but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time